Warning, this video is intended for a mature audience. You understand? Viewer discretion is advised. Yay! <laughs> All right, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people, and this is a request for misters, and it was uploaded by Colonel Damon Landers or something, and the name of this video is How to Play the Dwarfs in Total War, Warhammer 2, Roster and Battle Strategy. Okay, let's check it out. Yay. Welcome to the army and battle section of my dwarf the guide. Army there. In this section, we will and go over the entire dwarf roster, shit. covering all the unit's pros and cons, as well as compositions fuck, and formations man, for battle. Dwarfs and armor and weapons and stuff. Okay, but you spin a little faster, man. Dwarf race guide. Carl Dutton Disclaimer. Earth. This guide is based on my personal experiences and opinions really? and is by no means a definitive way to play the Dwarves and Mall you really If you have a different have strategy or want to add something to mind, like you got please leave a on. comment down below. Now if that's out of the way, let's get into the video. So it's called my the Dwarf armies opinion. are focused on quality over quantity, so while your arms will be more Shit. expensive than most other factions, the individual units will pull their weights quality accordingly. Over they have quantity. a particularly strong roster expensive. of ranged and artillery units, which Why makes them a very good turtling faction. Are you not wanting people to see it? Charging ahead. This is reinforced by their speed, which is, with the exception of a few units, incredibly slow. What the slow. hell is going on? The combination slow. of this and the strong leadership makes them excellent so good at pure at front fights with little use strong of flanking. Armor and leadership. They are also an excellent siege faction, both in attack and defense. As a strong okay, armor leadership, good at means they can hold the walls for a massive amount of time whilst your range units chip away at yeah, attackers. Yeah, that's what they do. And the excellent yes. artillery can also break down gates and walls in a matter of they shots, break down getting gates you inside to fight much sooner than usual. It's also worth noting that they have no cavalry so of their own, the pros but they the do have great so charge resistance on most units, meaning that any cavalry magic flanks resistance. aren't going to hit you too hard unless it's on undefended no artillery. Cavalry. They also have a resistance to magic on all units, even though well, they have no shit. spells available themselves. Why don't you show okay, us now we've covered a little all that, bit of it. Let's get into the roster. Okay, First up from the melee inventory are the miners, which is fitting name That's as they have Gimli a minor impact Lord on your presence to say the least. Or it might While be they do have armor piercing damage in the early game, I noticed that in battles, they armor, almost always lose all their unit fighting even basic infantry, which caused major slowdowns in the early the game when I'm sat waiting for them to replenish. Good that you actually showed that up said, close I did bring a couple of them with me in the very early game so I could bring weapon them to spawn in the world charge with armor-piercing damage. But as soon as I unlocked great weapon warriors, I replaced Damn, them as they didn't even compare. Who they fight battles, against? I like to keep them on the inside of my front lines so that they are protected from charges. I'm not no army commander, so I'm not good at describing charge. this type of stuff. They come in two variations, standard and blasting charges. The only difference is that Missile blasting charges minus have blasting charges. These are and not that strong for what I've seen there. They use before charging into melee that can cause some good damage on leadership bounces. Are they throwing backpacks and purses? I still don't think this earns what them a place in armies, that? as they just don't seem to they last. Exploded. Dwarf warriors are up next, and they are the meat of your early Dwarf. army. What? They're an Dwarf armored warriors, and shielded okay. unit, so can take a good amount of punishment from both melee and ranged, yeah, making them great attack, for holding the uh, front lines Mr. for a 22. huge amount of time. While they won't be getting a massive amount of kills in battle, they will no. make it very easy for They're your ranged units fire. to fight over their heads what and the break the enemy in no time. I'd recommend taking two raped. to four of them in the early the game shit? and keeping them on the flanks How of your you front lines send these guys so that they can absorb any cap charges without major damage. They come in two varieties, standard and great weapons. You need a lot Choosing stronger great than weapons that. gives them armor piercing damage, but the cost of only their shields, which I believe is totally worth it, as it ups their damage considerably and allows them to break through the front lines with ease. Okay, with Long some upgrades. are basically old man warriors. Okay, there are the, you know, 100 stats. armor. They have the old grumblers attributes, Melee which gives them a leadership aura because stronger. of their great age, superior courage, and long facial hair. They're still no I choose match, to replace though, my dwarf the warriors with these guys as soon as I can, as the stat differences and leadership aura yeah, make them so much shields. more valuable in battle, both as individual units and for the, the rest of the lines. They will have similar placement in the formation to warriors, they as must they can absorb charges those. from the flanks without too much trouble. Again, they come in two varieties, standard Boy. and great weapons. As usual, yeah, great weapons are armor piercing damage at the cost of losing their shields, and I totally job. recommend going for Oops. great weapons as soon as you can to make that? them more effective against heavily armored targets. There. Slayers are the giant spain of the dwarf the hell was that? While you they got like armor, coins they make up for your this by having great damage, especially your against anything larger than a man. Ass. They're also Zero. pretty fast for dwarfs, so You're are good dead. for getting around the front lines or chasing some slow totally large dead. units. 
They're also equipped with two whirling axes that allow them to deflect missiles. And they got their shirts them, off. Giving them some minor protection from no armor, attacks. no protection. They also have the death blow attribute. Might as well take your fucking pants to off too and just run out there and harder. say, "Kill me, once please." They, do fall, they get off one last attack before dying. Shut my dick while you're at it. They come in two variations: standard and giant slayers. Giant slayers have armor-piercing damage. Well, I ain't taking so your bar food too. What the fuck? The enemies might bring, whereas standard I'll slayers are better suited for smaller cavalry units. Either of them are great. Yeah, just slaughter the them. They're useless. But I generally take giant slayers into the end Look, game. Look, he's having a blast just swinging that club, killing them. Lots of difference. I take a couple of them with me into battle it. and use them to cover my range units from cavalry or to focus down any large Ugh, units in the front lines. Jizz? Hammerers are the elite damage dealing okay, infantry. Okay, these ones the looks like I can take a little bit more seriously. So while they can take a lot they of care about their battle, lives. They got armor on. To gradual skirmishing damage. Armor. They also inflict uh, armor-piercing damage, coming. although I'm not exactly sure how, as hammers don't seem to pierce armor. This it, means the they can go up armor? the toughest infantry and deal what a lot kind of hammer damage, they use even if they don't come out on top. I like to take two of these guys with two slayers and two Why they just fight the same enemy over and over? I put hammers in the middle of my front lines so that they can take on anything that comes their way and sometimes even push a hole in the enemy lines. Ironbreakers are the final okay, there infantry you go. units in the Okay, 125 armor, armor leadership, leadership 85. They're armored and melee attacks so 30, a ton of melee, melee defense is 68. They also have charge defense against They're all, a little so it can absorb cavalry charges with minimal hits to health and they leadership. Still got blue shields. They also come to battle with a special ranged weapon that can be used to disrupt and enemy formations and cause massive damage before charging explosives into melee. Or something They're basically what you'd get if you had blasting charge miners they get those and actually Walmart? made them viable. As I said before, I take two of them into what the endgame you? and I choose to put them on the flanks so that they can absorb you any really like charge of these. Army. It's worth getting them to use all of their ammo before getting locked in Choose some demons as it does a good amount shit. of damage and besides, it looks pretty cool too. Yeah, yeah. Kicking things off for the ranged infantry okay. are the rangers. They His armor is weaker. Deployments so can get shots off from the, the range is a high, if you yeah, place them ahead of your main army. They also have stalk, so can sneak Just up on the enemy away if you the move them correctly. To shoot out Stop things off, they're also quite fast, so are good for getting a flanking angle on the front damn. lines and causing some good damage. All this combined good makes it good for placing in a hidden location and bring them out to attack the backs of unsuspecting enemies. I bet enemies they snort cocaine. Are established. I could just pitch your dwarf doing that. Well, yeah. They're fairly similar stats-wise, but lack the same defense, so aren't great if they get Kicking caught ice. by a flank and have to go into melee. If I'm taking them, I probably wouldn't go for just them as my range units, as they are unlocked at a similar time to Thunderers. So I'd say That's three of each color, would work well, it? so you have some armor-piercing damage. If you're using them to flank, it's fucking then stupid I'd earlier though. You had those dwarfs with no shirt on, no shoes. But if not, I They're not built for battle. Get the fuck front off the field. So that they can get some shots off before melee begins. Once it does, then I use them to either fire over your troops' heads, or to get oh. around and fight into the backs of the enemies. Yeah, yeah. Quarrelers are up next, and these guys will be the bread and butter of your early game different. ranged infantry. They have excellent range, though nothing compared excellent to the high range, range guard. Yeah, so one six. That's pretty high range. The Their armor's you. decent They're too. They're also armored and shielded, so can take quite a bit sucks. of damage themselves from melee and ranged. Speaking of melee, they can actually do pretty well so long as they're against nothing too elite. Since they yeah, are the first range unit in the lock, I'd recommend bringing up to six of them in the early game, as I like to keep a balance of ranged to melee units. Once you unlock Thunderers, I take three of each to get a nice balance between arc damage and armor piercing damage. And that reminds me, Quarrelers and Rangers are both arc units, these meaning when they just fire, the like projectiles yeah. travel in an oh, arc to their targets rather than a straight line. This can be Why is the enemy back there just they can fire over the heads of your doing units, that? But they need to be charging after these motherfuckers. Hard, meaning less damage and accuracy to moving targets. Back to Damn. Quarrelers. There are two variations, standard and great weapons. Taking standard great weapons great gives weapons. them armor piercing damage in melee and the cost of be right their this shit down. You're going to get a pop quiz for me after this video. If you can protect them really well from melee, take shields. If not, take great Where weapons, as the armor piercing will let them take out melee the armor. faster and get back to shooting. And when the camera's in not battle, showing, like somebody's getting pierced in the ass. I like to place them off some initial volleys before melee begins. Once it does, I place them either behind or on the flanks of the front lines, so that I can get some shots off with minimal friendly fire. Damn. Rangers with great weapons oh, they are an interesting addition beards. to the range That's roster. Santa Claus so towards. interesting that I gave them a separate section uh, of their own from normal stats. ranges. They're a close uh, quarters weaponry unit, meaning that their range attacks know, have a much shorter range, 30, but do much more damage than normal. They have armor piercing for both no. ranged and in melee, so don't be afraid to send them against some mid-tier like troops if you're front lines need the support. They also come with vanguard deployment and stalk, as well Are as being fast. This means you can place them in a hidden location and have them attack the what? enemy backs with either melee or come range on, the doors to break them and three got health. more advanced if shit I'm taking this, them, I'd only take two or three max, and either use them to get some early shots off from the front, 
Or this must have been when they're at the weakest. Established. Thunderers okay, are here we go. They got they guns. The first direct fire unit we have. They can take yeah, fire over our range. heads, but only at great range, as once the enemy gets too close, yeah, they got they fire in a straight line to hit. And this I means that you shield. need to use them in a flanking position to shoot the sides Good or backs job. of enemies to ensure you get the most yeah, kills and least friendly fire. Gondor, they also I mean, have armor middle. piercing missiles, so are great for chipping away at heavily armored units now before that's they get smart into thing melee. And have guns. They are armored and shielded, so can take plenty of damage in both melee and range yeah, yeah. before they start to rout. They're also decent in melee, so will hold their own against any They're gonna do really good, man. I take three of them with me. I don't know if I get some or job or torpedoes, with armor, torpedoes as they are a great combo Aim with the and less armor piercing archers. I shit. like to do the usual and have them up front to begin with before moving them back and to the flanks once Mila has begun. Bookman's Rangers are the, the last hell? of the bolt fires, and they're basically a good mid ground between quarrelers and rangers. They have all the same you attributes as regular rangers, but they also get charge defense against large. This makes them much better at absorbing well, any kind of charges the enemy throws at you without losing too much health or leadership. I choose Damn, to take them into the near end game alongside three thunderers to add some diversity to the damage I'm putting out and also Come to the strategy on, that I employ. As mentioned in the Man, range the section, keep I would on. either use them to get shots off from the front of and behind the front lines or to attack from an unexpected location. Unexpected location. They okay, what the hell is this? They fire literal torrents of fire and are excellent taking out big clumps of infantry. Armor, they damn. do fire in a very shallow arc. So while they can fire overheads, oh, they're we much go. more effective Flames. when using That's a what flanking I'm angle about. or elevated position. Yeah, they, now these dwarves to kick some ass. Get them onto the enemy Dragon when fire attacking the slot. And have them rain fire onto the enemies below. Yeah, burn, burn, unit, burn. So take quite a bit of punishment, but they aren't the best Keep in doing like, so it's best more to keep them mildly protected There you, you go, far off I like too. to replace my arc units with them as soon as I can. Fuck as they are just machines at taking out any and all inventory, regardless of the tier. I wish I had fire powers. I the usual strategy at putting them ahead of my front lines before moving them behind and to the sides for flanking shots. Might have to train Beware that even if you do flank, the fire and explosions yeah, will still cause some friendly fire, so just reduce it as much too. as you can. Finally, we come to the troll hammer uh, torpedo They don't look any different than They're again ones. so different that they deserve their own segment. They got Rather than flamethrowers, they're equipped with troll hammer damages. torpedoes, which deal armor-piercing explosive damage with a bonus to large targets. We'll this see makes what they them can great move. at taking out cavalry units, giants, they got and fire you guessed it, trolls. Fire. They do, however, have a very slow rate of fire, so it tends to have bursts slow of damage rate with of breaks fire. in between to reload. Like the iron no, rate, I like the, the other armored, one better, so take but a bit the of punishment, But are again, not, not best left whatever in Whatever the hell that is. I like to replace Bombs my thunderers with these guys, as the anti-large and explosive damage makes explode. a lot of difference in your battles. I use the usual strategy that I've Look said like 20 times by now, so I'm not going to repeat myself, but bitches. you get the idea. Onto the war machines, and all oh, three are variations of the same unit, so I'll cover what they all do okay. before going into the differences. They They're look kind of flying funny. units, so are exceptionally fast, so are great for going out and harassing the enemy well, before they, they got even some get close to you. They, they are can all fly. armored, so can take quite a bit of punishment, but aren't the best if they get attacked by other flying oh, units, fuck. as they have pretty pitiful nope. melee stats. Yeah, you don't stand they a chance against that shit. They have the ability to drop bombs of varying severity and number, and are all Give the helicopters the flamethrowers. The base gyrocopter is an anti-infantry unit, bombs. so it's great for firing into and bombing big clumps of enemies. If there the are no hell? big clumps, then a, a good tactic is to wait until the front lines are made, and then route them to go over the enemy's side of the melee and spam the bombs. It does suffer I'm with team fire. But apart from that, that's the only ones I found interesting in here. I take one of these until I unlock the gyro bomber, which is better in a few ways. It fires armor piercing missiles, oh, so it's okay. great for attacking any tough units on the enemy blades. team. It also Whoa, carries more bombs, high, so while the unit size is just one as opposed to three, Shit. it has significantly more firepower and can make some really more devastating firepower. runs. Finally, we come to the Brimstone Gun Gyro which is an anti-large unit, so it's great for harassing giants and trolls before they can reach your men, and let's keep them running when they break. Over the anti-large thing, they're basically the same as a standard gyrocopter, but with better accuracy. And yeah, I like to bring them alongside sight. the gyro bomber into the end game with me. Look at these guys Strat fusing like them these. is fairly straightforward. Send them to attack whatever they're effective against, they whilst avoiding being shot at too much or being attacked by air. Once yeah, lines are they're established, easy target get them too. behind the enemy so that they can shoot into their backs with less risk of friendly fire. Shit. Finally, we come to my favorite yeah. category, artillery. And the dwarves have some favorite? of the best Look in the, the game. Stats. First off is the bolt thrower, and already Missile it's damage pretty exciting. Decent. Oh, and the range is okay. It anti-large armor piercing high. bolts that can do some serious damage to everything bigger than a man, well, let's and see you what can unlock them do. extremely early in the game. I like to use them to focus any large units the enemies bring, and if they don't bring any, then shoot. I just target the lords and heroes, as the armor piercing damage is quite a lot of damage if you get a hit. I like to bring like two of them with me as soon shot. as I can, and they last me until the mid-game when they're replaced by cannons. Still, you know, as those while you have them, they are going to be really, really great. 
It's also worth noting they fire in a very shallow arc, so aren't yeah, going to be able to get many shots looking. off on the front lines that are established. So it just looks sure like a normal dwarf throwing this. a bomb. The Grudge Thrower is next, and this unit has given me so much joy while playing the campaign. Holy it's shit, just a basic catapult, but damage. you can get some serious damage dealt if they land correctly and can even break entire armor units before they missiles. get to you. They're armor piercing, so can be directed at even the toughest units and still cause Shoot. some serious damage. Oh, They're just... also an anti-infantry, so are okay, experts the at taking out big was... clumps of infantry okay, that are charging yes. your way. Again, they are available from very early on in the game, and I kept Damn. them right through until the end when they got replaced by flame like they could easily there. be taken into Decent the end game if you wanted. The Black strategy smoke. is fairly straightforward. Find the toughest infantry you can, and harass them until they Just get into melee. Once the front lines are made, aim at targets that aren't too close to your men to minimize Damn. the friendly Look at all fire. That. Since they are arc it's units, a big mess you can on get away from some slight firing overheads, but you run the risk of severe friendly fire if the target is close. Yeah, no friendly Cannons fire. Are up next, and as I said before, sure, they replace my bolt throwers ASAP, so perform pretty damage. similarly with one difference. Cannons have a massive range Just compared cannon, to bolt throwers, meaning they can get off way more shots pre-melee and can shatter entire units before they even see melee. They also do a bit more damage to so the sniping any larger armored units the enemies thrower. bring. They do fight in a fairly shallow arc, so once the units are in melee, they're going to struggle to get many shots off at all, so well make sure bail. you get lots of use out of them pre-melee while you can. You get a lot of use out of those. Since bolt throwers, the composition and strat are basically the same, so I won't repeat it. Organ guns are next, and they're basically like a bunch of smaller cannons rolled into one. They fire okay. lots of armor-piercing missiles in rapid bursts, so are great for focusing tough infantry or for impressive. really bullying the a giant offset right of trolls. Even though they lack the anti-large damage that cannons have, I choose Shoot. to take them with me into the end game, as they just have so much more okay, versatility that looks a and damage better. output that it makes up for the lack of bonuses. What about the impact? But you could I didn't even see nothing just land. as well. Again, they have a shallow firing arc, so I best use before the melee, but can portal. still be used at a risk to your men once they're fighting. They share the same oh, composition man, and bloody. similar strategy, so again, Shit. I will repeat myself. Finally, we come to the flame cannon, Damn. and this is possibly one of my favorite pieces of artillery 70, in the 3, game. 2, 30, and this game okay. has dinosaur artillery. And this it's is an anti-infantry unit that fires flaming hey, cannonballs into yeah, the enemy yeah, lines that go. explode in fiery glory. Flaming then they're unmatched at tearing See, oncoming infantry to pieces and can cause using. serious damage to pretty much any infantry in the game. Unfortunately, they have a very shallow firing arc, meaning that once front lines are made, it's very hard to get any shots off on well, infantry come on, unless you get some very good angle. Ship, so you no matter what you there. do, you will get some friendly fire as explosions will spread to your men, Fuck. even if you fire directly into enemy Always gotta be a downside. All in all, though, it's a great unit to take, and I take two of these to replace my grudge throwers into the end game. Now these onto the regiments of renown. A list regiments of each of unit, what they're regiments of, and what differences they bring. I don't know. Miners are oh, hit the door for fire. And come with static uh, equipment for leadership, melee attack and defense, weak. charge bonus, ammunition, and missile damage. Care. They also gain the frenzy trait, meaning they fight extra hard they're, when their they're, leadership they're drops below 50. Warriors of Dragonfire Pass are dwarf warriors and come with static improvements um, for leadership and melee attack and still defense. Still not impressed. This they also gain like the, the same ones from before. So they perform even better in the front lines. It's better than they fully cover with armor. Long beards with great weapons. Those and giant come with improvements for leadership. I guess the enemy can grab defense. the beard and pull. They also gain the old grumbler ability, which gives them a nearby they allies plus nine percent vigor. Dragonback slayers are slayers. Oh and my god! What the fuck is defense. this? They Get these weirdos off the damn field. Charge defense They're just asking to get killed. Or... Flame resistance they look kind of nasty too. It's almost like I can smell that stench. Pete are there you go. And come with got some armor on. Leadership and, melee attack and they trim their beard. They also gain Still kind of long though. Attacks and an immunity to no, armor's a hundred. No gremlins, iron breakers, okay, damn, these iron look more badass. And come with stat improvements That's for leadership, what I'm talking about. Melee attack and defense. 125 health, armor. And missile damage. They gain vanguard deployments. Can't attack They're immune to psychology. Ulthar's Raiders are okay. great weapons rangers that units like and come with stat improvements for leadership, or melee attack and defense, something. and missile damage. They also have the ability eh. marked by Ulthar. The Skaldegard are okay, here Iron Drake's units and come with stat improvements like for leadership, or... melee attack and defense, Shit. and range. They lose some overall damage, but gain more armor piercing damage, and they also gain Man, plus 20% myself. physical resistance. The Skyhammer Shit. is a gyro bomber unit. That's actually a better looking helicopter. For leadership, melee attack and defense, Shit. and missile damage. 13, they also have improved damn. bombs and drop more of them at once. So excellent speed. for obliterating entire yeah, units of infantry. Yeah, keep that on the field, man. Finally, we have the Goblobber, which is a grudge the, throw the unit what? and comes with stat improvements for leadership, melee attack and defense, Gob and range. Lobber. They also have the attribute Goblin Mongrel, which attaches Shit. a Goblin Prisoner to the boulder and, and causes the targets to take a leadership penalty for each hit. 
Finally, well, we might have a trade off. Segment, which is my ideal composition and formation for the end game campaign. I the take end two game is the Avengers, two Ironbreakers, and two Giant Slayers, hammers, and have them hammers, organized to show. Giant I then take slayers, three Iron Drakes, and two Troll Hammer Iron Drakes, and line them up in front troll of my melee lines for now, with skirmish off. I take two Flame Cannons, and two Organ Guns, I want the flame and have them cannons. as shown behind my melee lines, so they can get and lots the of shots off while fireballs. still being protected from an early charge. I take a brimstone gyrocopter and a gyro bomber yeah, and place so them at my flanks so that they can go off and attack whatever targets I see as soon as the battle yeah. begins. Finally, I bring a standard lord, a runesmith, and a master engineer, what? as this gets me the best balance of melee for lord jewels, Damn, man, you know your stuff about runes, army and range types from the engineers. Shit. I don't know now, to see how it. this performs in battle, I'll pass over to live recording me. Miles? Uh, uh, Thanks, Miles. Okay. Right, we're just going to go through this in nice little slow motion as we start. Of course, I am basically turtling, but what I'm doing is giving these guys targets as soon as they get into range. So we're going to see here when uh, get into you know, range, once bitch. guys get into range. Right. So already firing those, that's um, totally fine. What I'm doing is see right there, I just targeted other? all my armor piercing to focus the large units because Man, you shoot they far have away. quite a lot of armor, especially this giant spider, so you really want to chip those down from the start. Plus, a giant I'm pretty sure that's spider? a lord, isn't it? One of them's a lord. Oh no, my this one's god, a lord. no. Anyway, Kill the, the flame cannons, I'm going to do the same once they get. Just about to range. I'm going to direct these to the Black Hawks that are back here. So Black Hawks? What'd you say? Yep, there they go. You start firing. And you see there, they are just. That uh, Orc boy is just got, too far like, away. a large portion of his health taken away immediately from the helicopter. From like, those flame cannons. They are so good. There we go, flame. Right, I've also moved up the Jaguar to Brimstone to attack this. And the Jaguar bomb is moving up to attack the Black Orcs. It's all I'm going to save the bombs for now because here, there's not really much point using them while they're all like spaced out like this. You want to wait for them to get clumped up. Now they are Shoot. making a charge here. I'm pretty sure I don't counter this in time. And they do get charged from the Iron Drake. So you see there, I tried to move up the Iron Drake. Well, the the there we go, but, uh, I'm a little bit too slow. And the Iron Breakers can use a bit of their ammo there. So the Iron get locked up. I could have managed that better, but that's just how it is in these things. Damn. See, I've moved back all my range units now to get behind the front lines, and I'm I wish pulling I could off these, see uh, these squigs all these with my hammers, which aren't the best against the large, but you know, they're not good at damage and the armor piercing, so that's great. And I'm charging my giant slayers here to attack the Lord, which, yeah, well, it's you know, anti-large is going to do pretty well. Look, his health is already just now absolutely just, plummeting. That is fantastic. All this green hammers shit. are also here, getting ready to... Uh, Two this is one big now, I'm making a charge on this side. I'm just shooting at that with my Iron Drakes. Iron Drakes are good against Iron pretty Drakes. much anything, to be honest. I know they say that they're an anti tree, but they can do well against anything. Now, they did manage to get some uh, old boy biggins behind me. Who is going but, to win like, this Even your artillery can defend themselves pretty well. I mean, look there, like half health, yeah, I like those less than half leadership. Now. We're doing all right. Right, just those did a nice little bomber on there. That looks great. How's the gyro bomber doing? The gyro bomber, what? Fantastic. Great shots there by the oh cannon. My what God. you really want to do is you don't want to let enemies. This is uh, WrestleMania, folks. So if you can, when units are broken like this, you Holy want to keep firing shit. them until they shot completely, and then you know, like they're never coming back. I'm surprised. Again, Iron Drake's just doing God's way and some great shots on the uh, on the Goblin Wolf Arches over there. What else we got going on? Flame oh yeah, for some reason this unit of giant stuff. slays like chased a unit off the map, so I just send them in against Dog War Boss, just you know, just so I have a little bit of a. Uh, well, so they're doing some basic cluster over there. What I ain't the quite fuck? done that yet. There they go. Where are right, they going? So you know he has taken out quite a few units himself, but that's just it's, how they are. Like, even if you are anti going against them, they are just that good. We're also sending the my Rune Smith doing here a hell to, uh, job. not sure where he's going, actually. He's just doing his thing. I see some dead bodies dropping there. And I noticed that this this uh, boss, he's uh, he's not taking nearly as much damage boss. as I think. And they've got three units where? here against my one unit. So I really want to get some spot over here. So what I started eventually. I so I'm pretty sure I start tagging all my uh, artillery onto this lord because he he's just going to destroy my drop. lord. Who, you know, has no mounts. Pretty quickly Spider's if we don't do something about him. Their artillery is still just coming down. I really should have taken a gyro bomber over there to take care oh, of that. Oh my god, man. Did you? <laughs> Before recording, and the runesmith currently engaged with the orc boy Biggins. That's how works. He can totally up. just handle that himself. I mean, he's getting a little bit swarmed, but you know, he'll, he'll be all right for now. He'll be all right. Who's he? Giant slays over here. For some reason, they're sending the spider against it, which was a terrible how idea. How do you he know just who's completely who? destroy them. Iron Drakes have just rallied. Have I noticed yet? Because I should really be using Man, them to shoot all this. Play this like your life depends on it. No, I haven't noticed. Looks like there we go. A lot just of my engineer's ability just to give him a little bit more accuracy. Reload, less damage. And less. Uh, reload damage, yes, that's the thing. Okay, the giant There's slayers have taken out their units. The Andrakes, here we go, the master of them going down and stuff. I believe that is a victory in four minutes with that comp. So, back to you, Miles. That concludes okay. this section of the guide. Okay, on the that was a big armies. epic battle. Next I didn't see who won though. And, heroes, and what they can do for you in both campaign Shit. and on the battlefield. Don't fuck Thanks with for the watching dwarves. this section of my dwarf guide. 
If you want to check out the other parts, there's Hell a link in the card and in the description for a playlist Some of them are super series. strong. Don't forget to vote on the poll for the next race you want me to make a Look guide for, which is linked in They're the description and the money. comments. I didn't if do you enjoyed this video any time, please consider Bro. leaving it a like because it really does help out a lot. If you want to see more of this type of video, okay. then click that subscribe button so you can stay up to date. He's still After getting all, closer. This is free. For now though, I was going to right, I'll see you next turn. So there you go, everyone. If y'all want to watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. I'm getting the fuck out of here, so yeah. My name is Billy Bob Tanley, and I approve this message.